What's up, everybody? My name is Alex Chung, and today I'm talking about how I set up my Ziyun Crane 3. Being able to rig out your gimbal and attach certain accessories is very helpful, especially when you're shooting, and it allows you to get better footage. So today I want to show you guys how I set up my gimbal when I'm shooting commercials and weddings. And hopefully this helps some of you guys decide what sort of accessories you need to put on your gimbal to help you guys make better films. And all the gear that I talk about today will be linked down below. So diving straight in, the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at is the Atomos Ninja 5. It's an external recorder that you hook up via a HDMI cable, and from there you can monitor your shot and externally record onto an SSD. This is extremely useful for cameras that have expanded external recording capabilities such as the EOS R, the Panasonic GH4, the 5, the Nikon Z6, and a bunch of other cameras. I'll definitely have a separate video talking more in depth about this little external recorder. With this five inch monitor, you don't have to rely on that little LCD screen on the back of your camera to see what you're shooting. And plus you have a lot of features such as zebras, focus peaking, false color, histograms, waveforms, and a whole bunch of other extra features. So to mount it on my Crane 3, I simply take one of these smaller articulating arms that is made by Small Rig, and I first screw one of the ends onto the gimbal. And then I mount on the Ninja 5, angle it to how I want it, and then lock it off. And the last step is simply to attach the HDMI cable from the monitor to your camera. I like using the regular longer cables and not the coiled up ones because they're not as stiff. When you're performing gimbal moves, sometimes I find that these coiled wires will drag on the camera and mess up my movements. And with this rig, I can easily monitor what I'm shooting when I'm on the gimbal, and I don't have to rely on this small little flip out screen on the EOS R. The second thing that I mount onto my gimbal is the Prism Lens Effects Triangle Prism. Prism Lens Effects is a new company based out in LA that specializes in making unique prism glass for filmmaking. They have a bunch of great products out right now, so make sure you check out their website in the link down below. And what's great about this particular prism is that it has the quarter inch thread mounted on the bottom. And that way I can take another one of these longer articulating arms also made by small rig and screw it onto the top of the tilt axis on my gimbal and then on the other side I screw on the prism and then angle it to how I want and then lock off the entire arm with this setup you just need to make sure that you rebalance your gimbal after you've mounted on the prism and make sure everything is good to go before you start shooting and with the triangle prism mounted on like this I'm able to get some really cool unique looking shots that I probably wouldn't otherwise get another accessory that I like to attach to the crane 3 is the Hollyland tech Mars 3 and this is a wireless video transmitter that allows you to send and receive video signals. I've actually made a whole video about the Mars 300 and you can check it out right up here. And basically these devices send video signals from your camera to an external monitor for someone else to monitor your shot, check to make sure what you're shooting, and have someone pulling focus using a wireless focus puller. And this one is pretty straightforward. I attach the transmitter to the rosette mount on the Crane 3 with a small rig articulating arm and I'm good to go. And then on the separate external monitor, I have the receiver attached to it and have someone like a director monitoring my shot, making sure everything looks good. And again, if that sounds interesting to you, I have a whole video up here so that you can check it out and learn more about it. The last accessory that I like to use is a monopod. Now, normally I have the little tripod feet mounted to the bottom of the Crane 3, but sometimes I like to swap it out for a monopod. And it is surprisingly very easy to get cinematic shots with this setup. And I've made another separate video about how you can get really cool shots using just a monopod and a gimbal in a video right up here. I'll just plug in all my videos in today. Make sure you go watch all of them. <laughs> yeah. Besides being able to get really cool jib shots and other kind of really cool shots, what I like about the monopod setup is that you can easily set it down on the ground whenever you want. Especially with a monopod that has feet, like the Zuying telescopic monopod, you're able to put it down on the ground and just lightly hold on to it as you need to take a break and just pick it up and go when you start shooting again. And I also find it a little bit easier to shoot with the monopod and gimbal just because of how the weight is distributed. The setup doesn't feel as heavy and it's a little bit more comfortable to use than with just a little tripod feet even though I like the feet. Oh, well, that's not a fit. Oh, that's a weird, that's weird. And again, if you want to learn a little bit more about these kind of cool shots, you can check out the video that I have right up here. So there you have it. That is how I like to break out my Crane 3 when I'm shooting commercials and weddings. If you guys have something different, other accessories that you'd like to put on the Crane 3, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have other questions about the way I rig out my Crane 3, let me know also down in the comments. I read every one of them. I actually do, because I don't get a lot. That's why I read every one of them. And if you like this video, hit that like button, 
make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell to get notified of every video that I post. My name is Alex Chung, and I'll see you later. Bye.